Okay, head squeezers, we've got a volcano-tastic experiment for you today in the live experiment section. We're down here uh, on Mount Etna in Sicily, an active volcano. But the question always is, what's the difference between lava and magma? So we're going to do a little bit of uh, a modelling experiment here. So we can't we can't create our own volcano because it's pretty hot. So what we're doing instead is creating a model of a volcano and the Earth's crust in this flask here. So just to start us off, I have got some red wax. Now all it is is a candle that's been chopped up. I think it's pretty uh, well themed in terms of colour. Yeah, nice, rock. nice red colour. That Lovely red colour. Lava goes quite red. It does. Um, so what we're doing, we've chopped that up with a knife and we've popped it into the bottom of this flask here. What we're doing is just melting that down to soften it a little bit. So this is going to represent the molten rock underneath the Earth's crust. And because it's going to be under the Earth's crust, we call that magma. So we do need some earth crust on top of that. So what we're going to do is put some sand or some soil on top of it. Okay, I get to hold the funnel uh, <laughs> for this section. And we're just going to add some of this beautiful dark volcanic sand into our flask here. So we want to cover the molten rock that's going to be underneath it. Excellent. So can we get it? <laughs> And this is a really good representation of what Mount Etna is doing specifically because uh, underneath Mount Etna is a, a rather large uh, magma chamber full of molten rock, just like we have uh, in this experiment. The last thing we need to add is loads of water. So that's going to actually represent the air around the volcano. And it's also just going to keep us safe from any splatters of any molten wax. So, you've got a bottle of water next to you here? Yeah. Excellent. So if we just top this up, so what's going to happen is, as the Earth's heat melts the rock underneath, it's going to build up in pressure, become less dense, and it's going to want to break out of the Earth's crust. So what we should be seeing in a moment is an eruption. It's going to be a volcanic eruption, and this molten rock under the Earth's crust, which we call magma, is going to rise through the Earth's crust to become lava. When it's settled, we should create a volcano. Now, it's going to be focused in one particular spot that we're heating underneath, and that reservoir of molten rock is called the magma chamber. So it's going to be when the pressure in that builds up to the point where it can't take it anymore that we're going to see a volcanic eruption. So on a volcano like this, you can get the, the main summit, which is uh, just over this ridge at the top. You also get lateral events, which are a little uh, chambers that come out into the sides of the volcano, just like uh, this crater behind us. And those little craters uh, will spew out magma as well, just it'll come out of, out of the sides of the main chamber. So the pressure now inside is building up, and that chamber, that, that reservoir of molten wax, is starting to push its way through. And it'll actually make a little dome on top, and there's some great scientific uh, studies and animations of Mount Etna that show it breathing. It goes up and then back down, and up and back down. And that's because the pressure inside built it up and pushes the surface of the volcano up, just like we'll get into. I can feel on the cylinder, the, the cylinder vibrating. You find that on volcanoes like this as well. You get tremors just before you get an eruption. Okay, so we've got some lava coming up. We've got some ash plumes going on. And some of the lava is building up at the base of our volcano there. So the lava now is pushing up through all the different places uh, on the volcano. So wherever there's a magma chamber, you're going to get all these different lateral vents and the main chambers itself. The main chamber in our volcano has come up right at the back. So we can tell a lot about what the lava is actually made of by the density of the lava that erupts when a volcano erupts. So in this case, it looks pretty thick. So in our model, that means that it contains a lot of a compound called silica. So the more silica lava has, the thicker it is and the, the closer it stays to the, the main vent. So it creates quite a triangular volcano shape, just like we have on Etna here. If we were to have a much thinner lava, then the volcano spreads out a lot more and it's a lot shallower. So you can tell a lot about the composition from the shape of the volcano. So there we go, head squeezers, a live experiment of a volcano on a volcano. And if you want to see other films that we've made down here, all about volcanoes, uh, then just click the button and we shall see you next time on Head Squeeze.